Hey friends, happy Friday. I love how I'm just randomly giving updates. So today is Friday and I just finished setting up my the final utility accounts for my house. Now I need to get to the post office like as soon as possible because they close in two hours and I don't really know how to do this. Like there's so much I don't know how to do. Obviously it's my first home. I'm 27. I'm learning everything along the way. So I'm just going to be sharing that with y'all. Hopefully you can give me some advice down below for those of you who have experience or just learn with me if you're also new at this whole thing. Apparently nowadays houses have those shared mailboxes which my parents do have so like I've seen them but I didn't know that everywhere had them now. I thought people still had their own mailboxes. Anyway there's a lot I don't know obviously. So I asked my real estate agent like oh wait so where's the mailbox? And she kind of like explained where it was but then also explained that there is no mailbox key because of the fire that happened in this house like a couple of years ago. I guess the mailbox key was just lost during that fire which makes sense but was never replaced and so now I have to go to a post office. I would think it would could be any post office because it's like US. Anyway, so bear with me. That is today's beginning of today's house stuff. And I've been working on this list for a while, but just updated it. So this is like my first home things to buy list. I've also listed things on here that I'm not necessarily gonna purchase right away. Like for example, a bed, a dresser, because thankfully my mom is letting me borrow this bed that I've been using here. Since everyone already has their own beds, this is pretty much like gonna be their guest bed. I'm hoping today or tomorrow to go buy things like cleaning supplies and things that we're gonna need like as soon as we move in and even before move in, because I wanna do a little bit like moving prep since we are planning to pretty much move this weekend and I want to be able to unpack like our dishes and stuff but we don't have any like dishwasher pods and we don't have sponges and there's no garbage can and those are kind of like essential things at least garbage bags that is the plan for the next like 24 hours so it's super bright hopefully y'all can see me came with my mom and we made it to the post office so wish me luck they close in 40 minutes and hopefully Hopefully they're able to issue me some new mailbox keys. So we came to Walmart. You look good. I was able to order the keys, but it will take two to three weeks before it actually arrives. <laughs> Just ran into her. And now we have to get cleaning supplies. When I'm cleaning, I like to wear them. And it's natural, so it doesn't have like chloro. Oh yeah, Finally. We're back from Walmart and I'm gonna do a quick little haul of all the cleaning supplies that I got. I also ordered some things on Amazon, but those will come in when they come in and then I'll show y'all. But I got some gloves for dishwashing and cleaning. Mr. Clean, gonna try them out. I haven't ever really used Mr. Clean. So I just got like a nine pack. Some Dawn dish soap, a necessity. Method daily shower spray. I think my friend Jenna mentioned them. I don't know if it was this brand, but she mentioned this type of spray. So I wanna give it a try because it helps you maintain your shower so it doesn't get so much buildup between deep cleans. Then I found this Lysol brand new day bathroom foamer, mango and hibiscus scent. So gonna try out this new spray. I got the Scrub Daddy Power Paste. It is amazing, I love it so much. I used it at my last apartment. I got a sponge caddy for my Scrub Daddy because I love using Scrub Daddy and Scrub Mommy. As you can see, I got it right here for the dishes. And then also got these extra sponges. The sponges are just good to have for cleaning like the bathroom, counters, the sink as well. And then even though I did talk about how I want to go more like biodegradable and plant-based and use less chemicals, 
Listen, it's flu season. I'm not trying to get sick. Yeah, I'm just gonna use gloves more and try to be safe with the chemicals I use for now. And then also inform myself more and maybe practice that more in the future. But I got some Lysol disinfecting wipes just because, I don't know, when it comes to the bathroom counters, I feel like you should disinfect. And then I got these Tide to Go's. I've never used Tide to Go's before, but I always <laughs> seem to get something on my shirt and I love to wear white. So necessity. And then also I've used the pink stuff before. I love it. It smells good. It cleans well. So I had to get the cream one because I already have the paste from Scrub Daddy. And then I also got Met all-purpose cleaner. I'm not even gonna lie. This just smells really good and it does a job and it's plant-based So lastly, I got tons of garbage bags. These are just like the great value ones and they smell like lavender I love lavender everything for cleaning products. So that's everything we got from Walmart and it was all under a hundred dollars Which I think is pretty good. I also price checked a lot of things So the things that cost more at Walmart, I bought them on Amazon. Anyway, first haul in the new house So some homeowner things. <laughs> Everything's so complicated and there's so many moving pieces. So I'm excited because my new fridge comes tomorrow, but I came to try to like clean a little bit and prepare, but I don't have a mop or a broom and I didn't want to overpay for them at Walmart. So tomorrow I'm gonna come with my mom, borrow their broom to clean up the floors because there is some dust in different areas of the kitchen because I had my cousin's husband drill some holes in order to install like the water line. But we needed to get a valve, we ordered it on Amazon and we try to put this like adapter to make the hose fit properly so that water can flow for the fridge when it's installed tomorrow. And the adapter is the wrong size, so I'm gonna be sharing, like I said, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And this is like stuff you don't think about when you are in an apartment because you just, you don't have to. There's a maintenance person, you just call them and they just fix it for you. And now we ordered it on Amazon. So now we're gonna have to go to Home Depot to see if we can find the right one before tomorrow. And if not before tomorrow, just like as soon as possible. <sighs> anyway, that's my homeowner update of the day. Now I'm just gonna clean up a little. We did order food. David went to go pick it up and we're gonna eat here because we're so hungry. And then we're gonna head back to my parents' house. Dang, that is so bad. Our delivery arrived, AKA my boyfriend just got back from picking up our food. Thanks, babe. You're Thank welcome. you. So this is only one of the mm -hmm. We both got the same thing. Yummy. And this place was so oh, close man. to our house, huh? Yeah. What did you get? Rice and chicken. Yeah, but I don't know. I can't eat this. I can't eat this. This is long like me slow. <laughs> like, this is good. See, food in our city is better. See? Supposedly. So Home Depot is ready for Halloween and for Christmas. Talk about efficient. Press it again. <laughs> Homeowner things. We're at Home Depot and lost. I am confused. Someone here did help us, but I don't know what the difference is between OD, MIP, whether I need a compressor, what is it? Compression coupling or a compression adapter because the last time we got the wrong one. So I'm not trying to leave with the wrong one again. That's crazy. The price is actually way better here. It's so cool. It's 9 p.m. and we're back at the house because the fridge guys are coming tomorrow. <sighs> Too big, so that was the one half. No way. So we just tried out all four of these and none of them fit the kitchen sink belt. So we will see how the refrigerator installation goes tomorrow. We'll have to return all of these and my cousin's husband said he'll be able to stop at Home Depot tomorrow because maybe there was like miscommunication between us about which ones to get. But I mean, I don't know. I don't really know how this all works. 
but none of these fit so that's all i know and so until we find the one that fits we're not gonna have running water or i don't even like i really hope the water actually runs through the valve because we've never tested it since we don't have anything hooked up to it so i'm just hoping everything works out once this part gets fixed we'll see you guys tomorrow it's been a long day we're pretty tired huh <laughs> I'm getting my fridge today. I'm so happy. I'm literally ecstatic. So my fridge is here. Okay, cutie she is. There's still some things that we need to do for the fridge, like getting the correct connector. Went to Home Depot last night, like you guys saw. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I also need to make like a to-do list of all the different things that I need to get done today because we're officially gonna be moving in tomorrow. So many exciting updates. So let's make a to-do list for moving prep. Never mind not heading to anywhere yet because experiencing my first house issue already. So the fridge shut off, not sure why. I thought it was like the fridge malfunctioning, but then I tested out all the outlets on that wall and none of them are working. Went to the circuit breaker, wasn't able to find the one that resets the fridge, although I tried pretty much all of them. So something is off and I'm not sure what. So my cousin's husband's on his way here to finish the, the water line thing, but now this whole wall is not working. So I'll probably have to find an electrician or something to check it out, which will probably mean, depending if it gets fixed or resolved later today, that I'm not gonna move in tomorrow. I'm not sure. We'll see. Oh, yay! I got distracted after the electrical thing. So I just called her. She's gonna reach out to the electrician. Okay. They're the ones who get all the wiring and plugs. In. She did mention you can't put too big a load on one circuit. So what else is plugged in? Just, just the fridge. That's the crazy thing. Oh! I'll let her know that. I also want to mention in case it's relevant, we tested out the outlets and when the fridge one shut off, it was one, two, three, four, five. There's like six different outlets that are all affected. Oh, so it trips. That's supposed to happen. If something trips, then it's supposed to all trip. Okay, thank you, Brooke. Okay, of course, you gotcha. Bye. Bye. <sighs> okay, so that's good. My friend Nadia gave me the idea, which thank God, to reach out to my real estate agent about the like electrical issues we're having because so far it seems like it's not like a house issue it's more so these outlets and how they're set up so if anything that might just need to get rewired but because this house was literally renovated because of the fire in the past year they were able to fix another thing that the inspector found before because that's something the contractor should have gotten right in the first place. And secondly, I mean, this is not a cosmetic thing. Like cosmetic things we can always fix down the road, but electrical, like I need to use my fridge. Like I need to keep my food cold. That's kind of like a necessity to just live. So I'm glad that she gave me that idea. I called my real estate agent. She talked to the seller's agent and so far they've been really great, like super helpful anytime something comes up. So I just hadn't thought of that. Thank God that my friend Nadia came and she gave me that idea and so far it looks like they might be able to come and at least like check it out and see what's going on and hopefully fix it. So for now, what we have going on in order to keep the fridge on, there's like this extension cord because the outlet on that wall and then all these outlets shut off whenever just the fridge is plugged in for five minutes, which is not good. That's what we're trying to fix. So for now, we have this plugged in and literally going on this extension cord all throughout the wall, just so that I can get plugged in here because this one is actually connected directly to the house circuit board. And all of these outlets on this wall are all connected to this outlet and it resets here, which is not supposed to happen, so. My mom is so cute. She's like, you need to take a video or a picture with your new fridge. So that's what we're doing. Oh yeah, the first item inside my fridge from my best friend, Nadia. 
Do you want a video or do you want a picture? No, this is a picture. Okay. picture. There's a lot to do. We're gonna have to do a little Home Depot run and then also buy some more things and start packing because we're moving out of my parents' house. Love you, mom. <laughs> Lots of exciting things to come this weekend and I can't wait to share. If you like this video or videos like this, make sure to like it down below. Make sure to leave a comment as well if you have any questions and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. But with all that said, let's head out. You like it? You like that one? It's okay. I want an olive tree though. Okay, but this is so cute. Do you like it, Mom? This is nice. Separate? It's like $5, which is crazy. Ooh. You could like rinse your salad or your berries here. You know what? You put it back in and then close it and then you spin it. Uh -huh. I mean, I've seen people use it online. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. This is so cute. David definitely wants this one. Guys, these are so cute. I like this one from Crate and Barrel. It looks similar to the one from Home Depot though. I'm guessing that's where they got the idea. A successful Target trip. Made it to Chick-fil-A. Can I get two spicy, crispy chicken sandwich deluxe and then waffle fries? And that will be all. All right, any sauces? Ketchup? Just the Chick-fil-A sauce and I guess some ketchup too. Oh my gosh, where's my wallet? Chick-fil-A is so busy that there's literally two lanes. We just got home and I got a very exciting package. My bar stools arrived. I don't know if we're gonna have all the tools to put them together, but we're gonna bring them inside. Hopefully they're not too heavy. Also, it's the perfect day. It's like beautiful. sunny, right? It's a beautiful Sweet. fall day and my neighborhood is honestly so beautiful. I love all the trees and I'm so close to everything. I'm just so happy. Oh. <laughs> Hello, I gotta get used to do this. Wow, there's so much room. I'm not used to it. Oh, perfect. Here you go. The trickle is off the shelf. Time to unbox my bar stools. This. Just lift it. It feels pretty sturdy. I know, this was expensive, so definitely splurge on me. I'm gonna have to finish unboxing it. I'm so excited. Whoa, the color's nice. I'm so glad I measured them before because they fit perfectly. Three is a perfect number. I'm gonna finish unboxing them and show you all the final product. I love that these came already assembled and they were packed really carefully. Highly recommend so far. Oh my gosh, it's such a pretty color. Ready that? Whoa, look at the seat. <gasps> that is so pretty. What? We finished unboxing my bar stools and I'm obsessed. You like them? <laughs> wow, these are so nice. Wow. 
Wow. So I got my Wi-Fi box, got the router and stuff. So I need to set this up and just wanted to share which one I got because it's kind of expensive, but it's because it's for my business, home office, and because of working from home. Also, it comes with this storm ready Wi-Fi. So I think even if I lose power, I still will have Wi-Fi for up to four hours. That's nice. There's like a little battery backup for it. What? It's like white and rose gold. <laughs> That's cool. Exactly. Finally unloaded the Subaru and now I'm gonna do a little Target haul of everything we got for my new kitchen. So I got this beautiful ribbed carafe. Absolutely love it. I want to get one that's a little bit more functional in the future with a lid, but this one was just too cute to say no to. I have some glasses that will match this perfectly. And this will be good whenever we have guests. And it's cool too, because if I need it, I can use it as a base. So it is functional in its own way. Also, my mom actually spotted this, just loved it because it it feels like really good and the fact that my mom said that made me want to get it. She said this one doesn't feel like the usual molcajetes so I'm really excited to use that. Also this is so cute. Got a salad spinner and it's beautiful. I love the colors. I've always been like a really neutral gal but I kind of stayed away from like any color and listen I know this isn't like the brightest color but I love that color and I used to be so like everything needs to match perfectly but at this point as long as it's like cute and a color that brings me joy. I'm gonna get it. Got this bamboo set to put like Ziploc bags in. I really like that it's a Ziploc bag organizer where I can actually get rid of all the cardboard. I also got these. It's like a cooking utensil set. It has 10 pieces. It was a good price and it just like had pretty much everything I need to get started. Also got this beautiful little colander and I could use this for pasta which David and I like to make pasta pretty often just because it's easy and quick and the protein pasta is really good. Love that. Excited to try this. It's like a bamboo um, utensil organizer. But not only that, I think I showed a clip already where it like widens a little bit so you have more space and it can fit in your drawer. Depending how wide your drawers are, obviously. And then I got little citrus press, lemon press. I haven't had one of these. I've only ever used my grandma's and that was like years ago. So I'm so excited. I got a starter kit for cutting boards. I got them white. It'll be nice because I can see when it's still dirty and then I can always bleach it if I need to. But also this is just a starter kit. There were so many decisions that I need to make right now that I'm choosing some really good essentials, but they're not necessarily like my forever things. Like one day I might need to replace these cutting boards, you know? But I like that it came with three, that it has rubber on the edges. So it hopefully won't like slip and slide as much when I'm trying to cut vegetables or whatever. This is for hardwood floors, laminate floors, which I have laminate floors. I've been doing research on how to clean them. Pros is that I will only have to like deep clean and mop them every couple of months as long as I don't wear shoes in the house. The cons, they can be a little bit trickier to clean and a little bit more vulnerable to like scratches and stuff. Up. Trying my best to be careful. And then I got this because I love this. I used this at my last apartment. It's this Folex spray. This stuff is magic. If you have any kind of light furniture, I had a very light gray couch. I spilled black coffee, red wine, lattes, you name it on my beige rug and my light gray couch. And this took it out every single time. I swear by this stuff. But anyway, that's my little Target haul. Now I'm gonna actually put this stuff away. Hopefully Comcast calls me soon. I tried connecting the Wi-Fi and it didn't work, so we'll see. Okay. Yes. They're good. <laughs> They're at perfect heights. They're very comfortable and very aesthetic. <laughs> 